The next step is to filter off your solids using vacuum filtration technique. We will start off with a retort stand and then we add this boss. Please make sure that the opening points upwards. The next piece of equipment is the so-called clamp. For a right-handed person like me, you would adjust the whole equipment so that you can handle it with one hand. That's our Büchner flask, that's a thick-walled conical flask, which we have to clamp into the retort stand in such a way that the whole equipment is above the plate. Otherwise, the whole setup would be unstable. Next thing you have to connect is the vacuum line. That's a thick walled red rubber tubing that comes from a grey tap. Next we have a filter piper and a Büchner funnel. The filter piper is designed so it fits exactly into the funnel. You set it up in a way that between the Büchner funnel and the Büchner flask is a red rubber tube or rubber manchet that seals the whole apparatus. Now you open the grey tap to the central vacuum line fully. Then you close the white Teflon tap and this sucks the filter paper into the Büchner funnel. Before you filter off, you might want to dampen that filter paper with a solvent. That is not entirely necessary all the time. If you shake your suspension nicely so that it is homogeneous, you can filter it in one go. And as you can see here, you will end up with your crystalline solids at the filter piper. And in the flask, you will end up with a clear solution, your filtrate. If you need to wash anything out of your conical flask, do so with the minimum amount of cold solvent. After you're finished with the filtration, open the white Teflon tap and close the grey one and you are ready to collect your crystals onto the watch glass. After you have transferred all the solid onto a watch glass, you can dry them using a vacuum desiccator.